Uh, what was your biggest takeaway from this tournament? Um, I mean, I had a great time. Um, obviously, we came here to you no know, try and win a gold medal. You no, know, we, we we fell short of our goal, but you know, I've gained gained some lifelong friends, some some lifelong memories, and you know, feel feel good about how we competed. Um, but yeah, you know, it was it was it was a it was a great tournament. Redemption? <laughs> um, I guess. You know, I would love to, you know, get the opportunity to, um, you know, try and win a gold medal. Uh, I would love to, you know, participate again for sure. What was the biggest problem of the U.S. team? You know, to adjust in uh, the overseas type of basketball. Um, I thought we adjusted well, man. I thought we adjusted really well. Um, you know, the game against France, we. Just they got the best of us. You no, know, we just didn't play well consistently the whole game. Um, but as far as the as far as the adjustment, I thought we did pretty well. You know, especially for us, you know, not being together for so long. I mean, I thought we played well. I thought we did well the whole tournament. What was the overall thought, you know, uh, concerning the team? Uh, the fact that uh, you connected your names with the biggest failure of the U.S. after 1992. I don't want to answer that. It's no point answering that. Is there anything that surprised you in the tournament? Uh, I mean, from the other teams or the way they play the game, uh, or whatever. I mean, we have so many international guys in the NBA now at this point. Um, you know, international basketball players are really good. I mean, it's no surprises at all. I mean, the the slogan for the for the tournament is "The world's got game," and it just <laughs> is what it is.